Well, it's day one, and I've driven all the way to Dumfries, which is about an hour and a bit. And I've been to the prison. I've been to Dumfries prison, and I've been doing a drawing session with a bunch of guys there. And I've now come to Castle Douglas, and I'm shattered. <laughs> Absolutely shattered. Uh, I think we were drawing for about an hour and a half. And um, I was congratulating them on their concentration because they were just quiet and drawing the whole time when we had a few laughs along the way but um but i just i just realized quite how intense it was <laughs> and i'm absolutely shattered so uh i'm just gonna do a little bit of shopping and get some fresh air maybe a cup of coffee is that, i think i'm gonna need a little light down when i get back here is busy cooking and slicing and making stock and stuff like that but I want to show you what I drew this morning. And uh, this is day one, and this morning Phil Earl, who I met in Edinburgh a couple of weeks ago, and he was uh, he was talking about writing to a whole bunch of school kids, and he got Brendan up. Uh, <laughs> this young lad, and he dressed him up as a kind of superhero with this just an old tea towel, really, and a funny old hat. He was, he was talking about superheroes, and then he started discussing uh, about wrestlers. And uh, so he got the kids to call out all sorts of things uh, to design what this wrestler was going to be like. So his name is Pounding Paul. He's four foot tall. He weighs 200 pounds. K kids don't know what 200 pounds is. They have no idea. They only know kilogram. Uh, he's fought 200 times and won 200 times. His signature move is the Pounding Bottle. He eats pepperoni pizza. His alternative job is a librarian for French books. And his real name is Jeff Bob. And he wants to be a rock singer, really. And he's not married, but he does have 12 kids. So <laughs> this is what happens if you ask lots of kids to give you ideas. And then I went off to the uh, prison and on the way I had some fish and chips. No, I didn't. I had fish and fries, which is a little bit weird because it was advertised as fish and chips and I was expecting chips and I got fries. Anyway. Uh, and this evening, uh, I went to see Mary Hedwig, who does the Katie Morag stories, which you may have come across. And I was drawing her in the dark at the back, so I could hardly see her. It kind of looks like her, but she's a lot kinder faced than that. And she was talking about Granny Island. Um, and she said that when she first wrote the stories, uh, it was actually Grandpa, who she called Grimpa. And, um, and there's this real relationship between Katie Morag and her grandpa and uh, and it had to be translated into American or it had to sell in America as well and the American publishers didn't like this relationship with Katie Morag and her grandpa um, and so they wanted him to especially so changed grandpa into Granny Island and Granny Island of course is basically grandpa she drives a tractor and all sorts of stuff just like Grandpa would have done. Now I nicked her idea of Granny Island in my Ricky Rocket stories and he's on another planet. So Katie Murray's on an island, Ricky Rocket's on another planet. So here's Granny, I called Granny Earth because she's still back on Earth. But it's ripped off straight from Katie Murray. And she was telling uh, all sorts of stories as well. Which, and she said she used to look, see the ships going down the Clyde and wonder where they went. And she knew they were going off to the islands where she eventually went off and lived. And she was telling us stories about sailors. There were two, what is it? Yeah, the, he was, she was reading the poem and said, Come, said the skipper, let's anchor here. I'm describing this awful place of rocks and whirlpools. And she said, There are two kinds of ladies on boats. There are those who like it and those who don't want to be left behind. Uh, <gasps> well, how about this? This is the school in Wigtown. And this is where the children's book festival is going to be all tomorrow and Sunday. And I've got something to finish. I started it this morning. Here, I started drawing this this morning. <laughs> this is going to be up on the wall here. This is the children's festival, and these are kind of all sorts of characters. And I uh, and then I had to leave to go off to the prison. So I've had a little sleep. <laughs> now I'm going to see if I can do a bit more of this. And then there's the fireworks, and then there's the party. And is it going to get done? There we are, I've got five minutes to get across to the Mary Hedwick gig and uh, she's in conversation and that would be really good.
to here here so that's what we've got going on we've got all sorts of things uh pirates things the baby reading proust i remember nothing caper kayleys the the, the 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 rabbit who stole books the rabbit thief here is katie morag uh nick sharrett philip Ardar. and this on the bones is jake's bones he's coming as well to tell us all about his bones that would be great and uh Oh, quick, 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 the pipes are calling. They're taking us off to the fireworks. I hope you enjoyed that. There'll be lots more tomorrow. Uh, I won't be quite so tired and I'll do some more sensible drawing. I haven't got to go driving around the countryside. So I'll see you then. Don't forget to go to wigtownsketchbook.com find out all about my Kickstarter. You can support this whole Wigtown project and get some fantastic rewards too. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing and practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.